You are an officer, you work in an office, in different kind of roles, and you want to get into shape. So I was like this, and then in just one year, I became like this. So you want to get into shape, like this? Congratulations, you find the right video, because in this video I'm going to share with you 10 things I have done personally to get into shape. So you can watch this video, use it in your life, and get into shape. You want that right? Of course you do. Let's get started. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Number one is about no sugar rolls. No sugar rolls means I will I cut all possible kind of sugar from my life. There was not even an added sugar in the coffee or any kind of drink. Even I'm drinking any kind of any other drinks, no sugars. I completely turned them to zero and until now like I lose that like 25 kilos of weight in just one year period of time and until now I'm still in the shape like seven years already I'm 30 plus already and I'm still into shape and the reason of this one is that I still follow this rule so this is why I put it as a number one number two is about I never skip the breakfast I have seen a lot of colleagues in a corporate or in office they like to skip the breakfast or they're having something really unhealthy. Something really like cheese or heavy amounts of bakeries. They're just simply destroying their own health. So, so that's something I had to fix. So I had a proper breakfast every morning exactly in the same time. And I'm not eating a lots of rice. So my breakfast will be a kind of protein and I will have a, a bit of, of bit of calories it could be a little bit of bakery if you like things a little bit of just fresh bread and that's basically it and I will have a lots of water so that's the number two is about having breakfast exactly on the same time like 8 to 9 a.m. in the time and every day just never skip the breakfast number three is about intermittent fasting so that's something really helped me to get into shape as well so what I do used to do is about simple I, I have my dinner by 7 p.m. And then I don't have any more meals until next morning. So what I do is about, I just take the dinner and after dinner, I will definitely feel thirsty, right? So what I did, I drink water during the period of time. And sometimes I feel just only hungry. So I just try to drink water and try to fill up my hunger as well too. Yes, it was very hard in the beginning. So what I did is about around 10 p.m. What I used to do is about, I used to take one apple or I used to take like it like a two cucumbers as well too, just cucumber and, and eat it and take some water as well too. And the next morning to a clock guys, it's gonna be almost like 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. So basically I have intermittent 12 to 14 hours of intermediate fasting. And that really helped me to get into the shape as well. Too. Number four, use stairs, not the lift. So what I did is about every day, I, I used to work there at a time around 14th floor of the building. So in the morning I come into the office, I took the stair, to the folding floor, so that's one time. And then in the lunch time, I take the stair again to drop the folding floor to go out for the lunch. So I have two times already. After lunch, I'm climbing up, so one more time. And after working, one more time. So that's how I get started. So in the beginning, it was tough. So what I did this one in the beginning, first month, I set the goal that when I come to the work, I will take the stair and come to the work. And after finishing my work, I will get down by the stair. So that was my first step. First one month, I make sure that I did this too. And then after a month later, I bring it to the lunch time as well. So I become four. And then what I have done is after two months later, I make it to the next level. So at 3 p.m., I normally take a small meal, which is like a fruit or, or something really healthy. So what I do is about, I used to get out at 3 p.m. and I take the stair to go down and take the stair to go up. So, so now I'm at the sixth time ups and down in a 14 stair building. That's really made me to get into shape because I don't want to do a lot of exercise anyway. Number six is about use the gym usage. So I did not really sign up for a really expensive gym memberships. What I did is about, I simply use what is available to me. I had my home, I get two dumbbells and I set a goal that I'm going to do 40 in my right hands, 40 in my left hands. So 80 dumbbells, I'm going to do it on my biceps. And I'm going to do like 20 push-ups every day. That's why I simply integrate those exercises in my daily lifestyle as well too. And then what I did is about 
my, my building had a gym, so I used to go and go there for two to three times, but my gym shots will be only 15 to 20 minutes. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna get in, focus 20 minutes, I'll be exercising all the time, and I'll be out. I just cannot wait to get out, so that's why I want to do 20 times, because why? I don't wanna do a crazy amount of hour works in gyms. That's not the thing I like to do. So if you don't like gyms, this is what gonna work a lot, what I just told you. Number seven the food portion. So when I'm taking all this food, 50% of my plates is going to be only vegetable. The rest of the 50%, 25% I will use the protein, meat or fish and then other 25% I'm going to use it as my rice. So I'm going to take that meal. So that's really did it every possible day for this one year period of time. So that's really helped me to, to burn out my fat and then stay in, in a lean and and until now I always follow that as well. Number eight, never eat the bakeries. So I completely throw it out all kind of bakeries, it means cake, cheesecake, uh, croissant, all those kind of bakery, I get rid of that as well too. And I also get rid of juice as well, because a lot of people love to take juice because they want to think that it's really vitamin. It's true, it's a lot of vitamin, but the main problem is not the vitamin. The main problem is sh amount of sugar inside the fruit. Normally, one orange, has a specific amount of sugar, let's say X amount of sugar. So when we eat the orange, normally we eat one or two orange and then we're pretty much full and don't, we cannot eat it anymore. So basically when you eat two orange directly, we have two X of sugar in our body. But now when you're making juice of those oranges, normally to have a one glass of, of orange juice need around four to five oranges. So now we make the juice and then we have that juice of orange so that basically we took 5x sugar in our body and that is really bad and I, that's why I cut the juice out of it. When I wanted to have fruit, I just eat the fruit and it's actually great for the, for the stomach as well too because the fiber the fruit has is always good for the stomach and when I'm making the juice, I destroy the fiber and I'm not getting the add-on benefits of eating the fruit as well. Number nine, tracking my steps. So I set my goal is about five to six thousand steps every possible day. So I just told you that my office staircase was really helping, was counting me. And, and I was also finding another excuse in my office or on the way to office or on the way to out of the office to walk to get my goal. And here's the point. I have seen a lot of people love doing this one. They want to set, make walking and set up some goal. So first of all, they're going to spend like five to one thousand dollar and try to buy a really expensive fitness band or watch, you don't need to do that. It's absolutely don't need to do that. I didn't do it. What I did this one in the beginning, get my phone and turn on my fitness app in the phone. It has a tracker option. It can track my every possible steps. So after a month later, I see this, oh, I really like to do this one and I, it's already turning to my habit. Then I invested a cheap band like a Xiaomi. You can check it out in the website. It's just a few dollars and you can buy one. They have no sponsor me. I'm just saying it because I use that way. So you can able to get it started immediately. And then I use that band and then I start tracking as well too. And, and that's how I get started. Now I have it after years later, now I have a really fancy watch which can track as well too. And that's going in. But the problem is people before building the habit, they start to go invest for a really expensive watches to get the trackers. And then they finally don't do the walking or don't even wire it anymore. And that's where the whole money is gone. So that's why I don't want you to spend a lot of time on, um, on actually finding the watches and then buying the watches and spending the money and then finally don't do the walking because if you do that, it's zero. But here's the point, unfortunately 80 to 90% people fall into that trap. Don't get into that trap. That's the way you do. Build a habit first and then find a way to fulfill your habit. Number 10, get my morning coffee. So I always take my morning coffee and normally it's fixed around 8.30 to 9 a.m. So normally it's around two hours later after I wake up so my body has enough time to get it to the speed by itself, come to a normal state because when I'm sleeping, my body was shut down and hibernating for a long period of time and then I woke up, now my body starts to regenerate and putting things together and I don't want to break that cycle. I want to give it one, two hours time, two hours time to get it settled down and then I will have a coffee to exhale because a coffee it really helped me to increase my heartbeat and make my process faster and that's also burn my calorie because my body is exactly like an engine so i'm putting a better speed in my engine means i'm burning more well so that's why i use the coffee to get into shape so you are an office worker 
and you want to get into shape and you don't like doing a lot of gym exercise, right? Me too. So you don't have to do a crazy amount of gym to burn your fat and stay in your face. So you can easily do by using these 10 tips without going to the gym and stay fit and healthy. You want that, right? Of course you do. Let's get started. We have some exciting plan for the next week. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it out.